Hey, board man. Hey. Want a Christmassy magical fun fact? Yeah, I, I literally asked you to get a fun fact for this video, so... Oh, and I got one good soul. Do you know that the uses of evergreen trees, they date back to the ancient Egyptians and Romans who used them in the winter solstices to signify that spring will be torn one day. Why does that signify it? Because, like, it's a tree. Like, you, it's in the middle of winter, all the, the trees and shit are dead, but you got this fucking, like, tree sitting here, like, yo, guys, we got it. Trees. Today, we're trying two new horses, Christmas chocolate latte. Last year, we did sugar cookie MMs and horsey kisses. But this year, we're just trying the sugar cookie horsey. Oh, it has little pieces in it. Did they do this last year? No, I said new, you moron. It doesn't say new on the pack. And we are trying new chocolate fudge, I mean white fudge waffles. So the snowball waffles. That's the vanilla flavored cream, they're not fudge. Oh, that's even more weird and interesting. Snowball waffles. But subscribe, because we have more Christmas snack times on the way. Let's go. I hit it myself. Whoop. I tried like it was in London. It was like Good Deli or one of those other brands for sugar cookie or something like that. Like an hour or so ago. So like it's gonna suck in comparison. Should I just get like a good shot for everyone of it? Like no, they don't care. It's okay. Sometimes it doesn't have much of a flavor. The aftertaste is eh. I was expecting a little bit more. So what are the pieces in it, by the way? Do those add or take away? Because the kisses didn't have pieces like that in it. I think they add to the experience. I definitely... The more I think about it, I guess it's better than what I'm insulting it for. But like, I don't know. It's just not special in my mind especially when like it's just like a thinner version of the kiss but we and, didn't like those kisses at least I didn't I know I remember them more fondly for some reason than I think I even made them um they're definitely better than the M&M's I would say that much oh, I do remember the M&M's definitely no bad um it's I don't know there's something maybe with the thinness I just think it's a little it, it could have been more exciting you know, we haven't filmed in the studio in a while. It usually looks like shit, so we're trying better focusing and lighting. So, hopefully it looks better. Oh, God. I like that the red and green pieces in it. That's Christmassy. I got a little bit more than you did. You did just also shove it all in your mouth, unlike I did. What am I supposed to do? Put it over there and not eat it? I mean, I broke my little bit into two halves by accident, so. Don't act like you did it on purpose, that whatever. I'm actually getting a butter sugar cookie taste. I like that the pieces in it make it feel like I'm kind of eating a cookie. This one's a little, at times, can be a little too sweet. The thing I would actually think they should make is an eggnog one. I think they might have in the past. The ashy sounds like good. Um, it's okay. It's not like one of those products I would probably like have to get. I think if they called it milk and cookies, I think the flavor would yes. make more sense. But it's not, so I can't just claim that. It really should be milk and cookies, but um, beyond that, I don't know. I expected it to be a little bit better, but I mean, it's better than I think last year's was. But if it was milk and cookies, it would have been. Far superior. So do you have socks to show off? Yeah, I do have socks to show off. I have Darth Vader, Star Wars Christmas socks. Um, but yeah, I think I expected more. Maybe not. I think I'll be more likely to buy, like, not buy one though. I would, I, I would like a, a Christmas party. They like the mini ones, like, like the trick or treat ones. Yeah, I would probably eat at a Christmas party. Next up is the Whoppers. You don't like Whoppers. And I would only eat one or two occasionally, so. 
They have like little dotted lines over it, but they're not. It doesn't open like that. That's so weird. So they. Afterwards, I'm getting more and more of the vanilla in my mouth, but like. So if you keep eating these repetitively, they'll probably be better, but like. I don't know, they just kind of taste like a cheapy off brand waffle. I do like that um, they're not as hard as I remember waffles being. They're definitely a little bit more melty center, which I think makes them taste better. Um, I don't know, they just. I don't know if it's the look at them or something, but they're just kind of just boring to me. I would need maybe like. When it's Halloween season, like, I might eat, like, a mini pack of these. You know, like, I don't know. They're not that good. Hated these as a kid. Doesn't like you either. <laughs> Apparently. What the fuck? I don't know what you're saying. These flavors, they don't mix whatsoever. Like the actual center. Oh, I never said they mix. I just said it's more melty. I think if it was. I don't like it when it's purely hard. I think with the chocolate, it kind of made it more like smoothed it out and kind of rounded out the flavor. Might eat maybe one or more just to kind of see, but a little bit now not being shocked by it. Not too bad. The white vanilla whatever it is. I wish I had a little bit more of a flavor. I can kind of taste it like now, nah, but honestly, I, if I wanted waffles, I'll just buy waffles. It's time to rank. I just got a lot taller. The candy starting with the sugar cookie horsey ball. You go for it. You know. I am going to give it, I think I'm going to give it a 6. It's not bad. It's not like, it's okay. It was, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to keep it as a 6. So that's what I say. If, it does taste good under like the milk and cookies context, but until they advertise it as such, I'm not going to give it higher. I would have given it like a 7 if it was milk and cookies, but I'm going to give it a 6. I'm going to give it a 4. I think there's better options, like the Gadelli or whatever they're called ones. Um, I just don't. I think if it was like slightly a little bit thicker and stuff, it would be better. But it does taste a little Christmassy, so it's not that bad in my mind. I don't know. I feel like it's a nice, cheap alternative. Like, come on. You fools. I don't think they're Christmassy. Nope. No. I know, like, a lot of things that like, they do, like, it's not even, like, red or green. I just think, like, oh, it's it's round. We'll, we'll try to make them. They didn't change the shape of it. The package is cool, though. The package is cool. I just feel like, I don't know, this is, like, even just making, like, a green center or red and green wampers would have been much more Christmassy than these. The taste wasn't Christmassy either. And I just also don't think they taste good. Remember, be an original. That's the advertisement, because no one wants a waffle. So be an original. Like waffles. Um, I'm giving it... I'm giving it a two, just because I... I just think it could have... they just pointless. Especially flavor-wise, it's not anything worth trying, even. I'm giving it a three. They should have been more Christmassy, but they weren't the worst thing ever. They weren't great. Um, they like the only thing to me, it felt like they were a little bit sweeter, but they don't mix as well. I feel like the type of people who like this candy, you know, like it's a classic style candy, so they want it the same way. You know what I mean? So you're pretty much switching up a classic just to add something unneeded to it. You know what I mean? I feel like red and green would have been a much smarter choice. Much more well, fun looking choice. This is like looking at package is kinda of boring. But the thing is, no one would have bought in it. I'm gonna buy those either way. We did. You did. Yeah.
Not even that we still sold these. You know how these was the hardest one to find because no one even fucking sold them. Horsey's website. Because we would love to see when they were going on sale and see if maybe you can buy online. Horsey's own website doesn't have a single Whopper product. They have the category. And there was nothing. And we had to search deep to find that Whopper's category, but I might have been the reason. I've been bored, man. More Christmas snack times coming soon. We got Kit Kat. We got Reese's. We, we don't have Snickers. So subscribe to get up to date with all of those snack times. Until oh then, have a good night. Oh yeah. Were they upside down? Yeah. So the whole thing. Like I'm pretty sure this, that's like what they use the. No, no, no. So the whole thing. But winter sources is to say, hey guys, I know this is a winter thing, but dude, I cannot wait for spring. No, it's just to see if I will return. Dude, I can't wait for spring, man. I can't wait. It's like in these Christmas videos if we do a Halloween fun fact. You gonna go with the candy? You gotta fix this. Stay in your place. Which one are we doing? The horsey. What goes with it? The waffles. The fuck are they? Oh. The only thing I really want. <coughs> fuck them. Um, the pieces are killing me. Fuck. Gotcha. Yeah. They only care if it's gross. Cause then we complain. Whoops. I broke it. Oh. Don't do that. Do you want me to stream? And we got molted milk. Balls covered in vanilla flavored cream. As soon as Whopper I, snowballs. As soon as I go to go finally pan it down, you show you should read it to yourself and then show it on camera. You're like showing it so downwards. I don't know, everyone could have been like, man, what's the way even looking at? I wish. I can't say that in the video. We did this one mainly because last year we got really disappointed with the horsey product. Wait. Are they horsey products? I don't know. Horsey kiss.